Okay, well, this has to do with um, power from space. Pentagon likes the idea. So, in some of my past videos, I talk about directed energy weapons. And so, doing some research, I found that the Pentagon is interested in teaming up with PG&E to um, beam energy from a solar satellite down to Earth. And it sounds crazy, but check this out. Here's an email from PG&E. Klan and Paul. This was back in 2011. And... It's a reminder that we're the first to propose a solar generator in space that will beam RF waves down to a receptor site and convert to DC. Uh, we have changed or we have changed our receptor site from the Mojave Desert to Sebastopol, which was dumb because they should have kept it out in the desert where it wouldn't hurt anybody, but instead, you know, that was back before we had the big fire in Sebastopol. And I believe they were testing it out and they burned it up. And then they um, used that. It's my opinion. Check out Stop the Crime. I really support this site. This is a place to go to find out the truth. These people don't use uh, conspiracy theories or opinions. These are facts. So I don't have all the facts, but these people do. So if you care, this is where you go. Check out Stop the Crime. Uh, very good site. So right now we have the PG&E. You know, they provide a in-depth look at the intersection of the clean energy business environment and all of their stuff here about the um, highlights and climate leadership they're going to take control and understand the Rothschilds own PG&E it's a fact so yeah the you know how smart meters can make you a smarter energy consumer when actually what it is, is they can shut you down. They can turn off your power with a push of a button and then some. And flood you with radiation. I digress. On that. Here's the blogger. The guy talking about everything is Jonathan Marshall. He's the chief external communications at PG&E corporations you know he's a great guy of course Al Gore is a part owner of a company that sells the carbon credits that make this move even more of an infomercial because basically Al Gore bought a bunch of tax or carbon credits to sell when this whole thing rolls out, he'll be the guy making the money. That's why he's pushing it. You can read about it on these different articles. He did buy into this. There's tons of proof all over. You could check it out. And the development in a changing climate, preparing for a price on carbon. This is where it all comes in because there's new carbon pricing systems are being developed in China, Chile, and it's to help reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. So basically they're going to charge you more so that you use less because the more you use, it's going to cost you. So you're going to like not take a shower, not use power, not wash your clothes. They want you to just be poor impoverished it's really sad so here's the statewide fire map a little bit off the topic but i want to throw this in while i'm here we have these fires going on right at the moment it's like the second 
of December 2018. And these are the fires that are happening right now. We have the, uh, the Niles fire. We have the Nurse fire. The Donnell fire. The Lions fire. And the Eagle fire are still going, I guess. Which, those have been going for a while. Long time, I guess they're just keeping them in that little containment. But what I noticed was the pattern. We have one, two here, one, two here, and one here. But if you start here and draw a line, it would make a perfect star all the way across. It's probably just an anomaly. You know, sure, nothing, it's just me, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, really interesting that the fires are still going even after the rains. But let me know what you think. Please leave your comments at the bottom, like and subscribe. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one.